If you use Tableau Cloud, you might have noticed that your Tableau Cloud instance has this message in the last week or so. And you're probably wondering, but hey, I haven't heard anything from Tableau about the new release. Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain why that is. As ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so this message comes up every time you upgrade on Tableau Cloud. As a matter of technicality, you don't do the upgrade. Tableau will send a message before the upgrade telling you that they're gonna do it. And when it's done, you get this message. And what this actually means is that your Tableau Cloud instance that you are part of has already been upgraded to the new version. You know that by hitting uh, close on this message. And if you go to the very top right hand side and hit the question mark and you select Tableau help, actually, no, you don't select Tableau help, <laughs> you select about Tableau, you'll get this message here, 24.2.0 is essentially the version. So in this particular cloud instance, I already have it. Now it rolls out across the different pods. The pods are essentially locations where Tableau cloud is managed from. Uh, these update in some sort of sequence and essentially when all of the pods are up to date, that's when the Tableau desktop and Tableau files can get pushed out to everyone else. That typically happens after Tableau Cloud is up to date. So if you use Tableau Cloud, a big clue about when the Tableau release is coming is roughly a week or two before you'll see this message on Tableau Cloud saying, hey, the features are available. Now you might think that, hey, I can't access these features just yet, but that's not actually true because if you use web edit, well, all those features are already there. So if I go ahead and hit close here, and we just go to, let's go to my export tab. I like to go to the export tab because it's an easy point of reference. You can select new here. And if we select workbook, you'll go into a particular workbook and you'll get a little um, option for a connect uh, data interface. You can choose any data source that's already available. I'm just gonna choose one, this sample Superstore one here, right here. It says live, but it's actually just an Excel file available on the cloud and you can see that I just have what is the normal web edit. Now, a big thing about this release 24.2 specifically is that a lot of the features are going to be on cloud only. By cloud, I only mean this web authoring experience. So Tableau uses the term web authoring quite often to distinct between the desktop version, the one that you install on your computer versus the web version, this experience that I'm seeing here. And over the years, they've actually been updating this to be as close to the desktop version as possible. And in a lot of their marketing, actually, for the last two years, they've only ever used this during their demos. And so if I go into this particular release, let's go ahead and build like a very, very basic chart. We'll go ahead and build subcategory and rows, and we'll go ahead and look for sales and put that on columns. You'll see that we get a basic bar chart, nothing new. But if I go to the marks pane, you'll see that I have the capability for Viz extensions. That's because Viz extensions is new in 24.2. Go ahead and hit add extension and you'll see that this is alive and kicking. It's pretty much up to date and all the features that come in 24.2 are already available. I just wanted to make this video now to show people that sequence because I don't think that sequence is well known, but if you know the sequence, then if you already have Tableau Cloud, you can go ahead and start playing with some of the new features in the web altering experience. And just bear in mind that some of these experiences will only be available in the web. Over the next day or two, I'm gonna start covering those early before the main release comes out. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.